Hello and welcome back. So in our previous video, I showed you how you can export DXF files and other formats using Excel Draw version 5 and how you can also automate this with just simple export settings or VBA. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you more of the VBA settings that you can use to make Excel Draw more customizable for your needs. Now the first thing you need to do first you need to have some background in VBA obviously but you also are going to need the Excel Draw API that we have been developing. So you need to go over to our website which is right here the Excel Draw page scroll all the way down to the purchase options and right over here is the Excel Draw Macro API and it has a link for it right there. I know that my camera is kind of, let's move myself over that way. Okay, so the Excel Draw API lets you use a VBA code to modify Excel Draw. Pretty straightforward. It doesn't modify it as in you get to change how Excel Draw works. Instead, it lets you tell it when to graph things, what not to graph, stuff like that. So basically whatever you can do inside of Excel Draw normally, this will let you do via VBA. And it has a lots of many applications. In fact, lots of our companies have been requesting this so they can incorporate Excel Draw into their facility more seamlessly. So let me go ahead and show you what this is. If you click on the download link, it's going to come up with a window. It's going to ask you where to save it. This is basically an Excel module or an Excel macro. And if you download it, it's going to be in a zip file. You will need to extract that. So let's bring this back up. Bring me back over. And you are going to be greeted with this file right here, which is Great Technical Excel Draw VBA Automation. This is the current version, which is version 5.0.1. And all you have to do is hit Extract. It will extract it either in the folder that you are currently in or in its own folder. And that is our API. So how do you use this? It is very simple to use. All you need to do is open up the VBA editor. And you do that by going to the developer tab or and selecting Visual Basic or you can click Alt and F11 which is a lot quicker. And this is what it's going to look like whenever you first open it up. You're going to see the Excel Draw plugin or add-in right here. Then you're going to see your workbook. All you want to do is go to Import File and then select your VBA Automation right here. Hit Open and it's going to add a new module right here. If you open it up, it's going to give you a, a in-depth explanation on how to use the VBA code inside of your program. And it's very simple. It is a little bit of a setup as far as knowing what objects that you want to create, but there are simple methods for it. So let me show you how to do that. First off, I'm going to change my view here so we can actually see it. The first code that we're going to be looking at is how to create an object through VBA. And it's very simple. All you have to do is copy this code right here. GTED underscore create underscore object. And then whatever you want it to be. So you have your object declaration, the range, if it is Z enabled, if it is relevant, and the layer number. And it's very straightforward as far as how to do this. You have your objects right here and all of this needs to be in a string format which means that it is typed out in quotations. So a rectangle is a capital R, a capital R, a rounded rectangle is a lowercase r, a line is capital L, two points is a capital P, one point is a lowercase p, a capital C is a circle, a capital A is an arc, a capital T is text, and a lower case L is a line and a point. The range also needs to be in a string. So for example, your range of data is going to be from A1 to F1. If Z is enabled, then it's going to be a one. If it is false, it is going to be a zero. And if it is a two, then it's going to be whatever you have selected on your Excel Draw tab. 
relevant is exactly the same way. If it is a zero, it is absolute. If it is one, it is a relevant value. If it is two, it is whatever is selected on the Excel Draw ribbon. And the layer is whatever you want the layer to be. It's going to be zero through nine, so a total of 10 layers, whichever one you would prefer to put it on. The next code that you will want is to generate your graph. To generate the graph, it's very simple. All you have to do is this single line of code right there, grade technical Excel draw underscore generate underscore graph. It's very simple. So how do you use this? I'm going to go ahead and show you that. First off, I'm going to copy this right here. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to insert a module. And this is just going to be a simple test module. And then I'm also going to go ahead and start a new sheet right here. So it is all brand new, nothing there. And I'm going to make a very quick object for us. So I'm going to have the object be a rounded rectangle. It's going to be 0, 0, and 2, 6. So there's not going to be Z values included. It is going to be absolute. And I have my range. So let's go back right here. And I'm going to paste this in. So my first object is going to be a rounded rectangle, which is a lowercase r. The range is going to be B3 to E3. So range is B3 to E3. Is Z enabled? I'm going to say no, there is no Z. Is it relevant? I'm going to say no because it is absolute. And what layer do I want it on? I would like this on layer three. Okay, and then at this point, all I have to do, I'm going to put this over here so we can see it. And I'm going to hit play. And as you can see, we now have a rounded rectangle that is going from 0, 0 to 2, 6, 0, 0 to 2, 6. And there we have it. So it's very straightforward to do. And let's say that I want to regenerate this graph. I'm just going to do a very quick sub test regen and then GTED generate graph. And then if I wanted to do that, let's say I accidentally deleted my graph. All I have to do is run this code and it will automatically generate for me. So how is this useful? This is useful because you can customize this any way you want as long as you are on your active sheet that you want to create your data on and your data is on the sheet. You can plug in the data from anywhere. You can tell it what it is and then you can generate it yourself. You can also have this automatically generate by VBA button. So for instance, I am going to go in here and I'm going to go into my drawing manager and I'm going to delete this object so we don't have it anymore so we can have a fresh slate. So I have this delete object, no more object. Now I want to add in a button so this can automatically happen. All I have to do is go to insert and add in a button. Button right there. I can pick whichever one that I want and I have uh, yeah, test module right here. I can put that in. It's so this will create, and then I'm going to add in another button that will refresh for me. So I'm going to have regen. So if I click this button, it's going to automatically create that for me. And if I click the other button, it's going to automatically refresh for me. So yes, with two simple lines of code, you can completely automate Excel Draw any way that you want. If you would like to automate the exporting, you can also do that with the code that was provided right here in the export settings. You can use that code to export it wherever you want it to go. Okay, that covers 
pretty much everything there is with Excel Draw version 5. Now, if there's anything that comes up, anything new that's been added, I will create a new video for that. If you have any questions for me, please let me know. Leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions of things that you would like to see included in Excel Draw. Let us know. We're always willing to work with our customers and make a our products exactly what you want them to be. Thank you all very much. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of great tech videos and releases. Thank you all very much and I hope you have a great rest of your day.